to my page. This is some strange guy I just found on the street and I was like Hey guys. Hey. I'm here with hubby. We just made up. We're fighting because I'm right. She's wrong. I think that's why we're fighting. Are you serious? <laughs> Still have lip liner on there. Yeah, see? You tried to take my eye out. I got it on camera. <laughs> I did. So today we're back. We haven't done a parenting video in a while and we actually haven't done a husband and wife question video. Our five year anniversary went by in August mm. and we didn't even like acknowledge it. I think we've just been in such a, not a rut, but just a mess of moving houses. It's been a crazy year. It's been, it's a, been a crazy been, year. It's been a crazy year. We had a baby, we bought a house. Yeah. We just bought a car, which we're really excited about. Yeah, yeah a lot. Team Toyota. A lot, of new, a lot of new additions this year. And I just feel like we just haven't had time for us or just focusing on our marriage or working on it or just yeah. celebrating it and yeah. different things like that. And we haven't even done a question on- Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but can you just admire how pretty her face is? I mean, every time I look sideways, oh, I thanks like babe. He's just trying to make up for the fight we just had five minutes ago. <laughs> My hair has created this weird mountain just ignore if I move sideways and it looks like it's very long. It is long. We moved in and we're still unpacking, believe it or not. But we did pretty well for unpacking with a baby. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh yeah, we've got another cat as well. Mm -hmm. His name is Felipe. He's yeah. in our vlogs. I'm sure you'd seen him already. He's actually crazy. <laughs> Sometimes John looks at us like... <laughs> That blonde I don't know, child I emoji I in the car where she's looking at her sibling like Have you seen a picture of her lately? Like as an adult now? No, she- As an adult, she's an adult. Like, she's she, an adult. No. Yeah. But this is the face John gives us when Felipe does some crazy it, weird stuff. It's the same face I give for now realizing what she did. What did I do? <laughs> by bringing this crazy cat in. That's true. <laughs> the day we move in. Manal thought it was a good idea to bring a new cat in on moving day. My theory made sense at the time. What was your theory again? Basically, new house, new territory. John won't get possessive and rude to Felipe, but they'll both make it their own territory and get along and everybody will be happy. Is that what happened? Absolutely not. <laughs> the opposite happened. <laughs> the complete opposite happened. Today we just wanted to do like a married life Q&A life update being new parents mm -hmm. and not only just being new parents we're new parents now we're not like new new parents so it's so just seven months in adam's seven months old yeah mashallah he's just growing so much and it's just like where is the time he, doesn't, he doesn't look seven what's months, happening though. with our like our personal relationship has it progressed has it worsened what's going on and we just kind of wanted to acknowledge that and also filming these videos these sit down videos are very therapeutic for us because we sit down and we talk about things or we speak them into the air really never get the time to do that we're mm -hmm. just busy like changing diapers and stuff. Yeah, it's true. I'm a, I'm a pro at changing diapers now. Pro. Marshall, he really is. And like, you know what? One of your <laughs> friends was like, nah, bruvs, nah, I don't change diapers, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, how many kids you got? He's like two. I'm like, how old are they? He's like 12 and 15. I'm like, Real Palmer's not allowed to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> I was mad and comfortable at first, I'm not gonna lie. But your mom helped me with that. She did, she was awesome. I posted a story on my Instagram and I was like, listen, we're doing a sit down video as we speak. Ask us questions and I'm getting them as I'm filming right now. So maybe we can go through them together. Okay, cool. You guys like my eyeshadow, it's purple. I think it's really pretty. It's really? really? My favorite. Is this really your favorite? Are you just saying that? No, I'm serious. It's really so we're lucky. Yeah. Do you like my eyebrows? I do, very nice. Do you like my eyebrows? Untouched. I mean. Untouched. We got this unibrow going on. <laughs> you told me in your sleep you like the unibrow. Let's answer some of the questions that we have on here. Grab a cup of tea if you have it already. Mm -hmm. I have. Where, where, where's your, where, where's mine? You didn't ask Where's for mine? One. Taste mm -hmm. it. What is it? What is this? Hot chocolate. It's a mocha. I just like taste a shot chocolate. of espresso. I just taste chocolate. By the way, it's called matcha, yeah? Matcha? Just, yeah. What is? That's what the drinks. Whoever told you it's mocha lied to you. Did you not know that? Excuse me, what? Yeah, how do you spell it? It's called matcha? Mocha. You said matcha. And I said mocha. How do What's you spell mocha? It? That drink. Not mocha. How do you spell it? There's two different things. How do you spell There's it? There's matcha, which is I know green what matcha is. What is that? it? That's the green tea stuff. What, and mocha. Yeah, so... M-O-C-H-A. Yeah, mocha. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. No, you're not. You didn't work, you didn't work, no, you didn't no, work, you didn't, you're work. Not. you didn't work. Can you speak Harari Manal? Yes, I can, but it's broken. I'm a dishi, I'm a good person. Gay Sanan, do you That means, do you know Gay Sanan? Yeah. How um, do you say it's quite chilly out today, isn't it? Hoji mini today, Fizbe Bardal means it's very cold out. Okay. How do you say in Urdu? Bahir bohot thande. Bahir bohot thande. That means it's really cold out. What advice do you have for new moms, moms who are gonna do it alone? Hmm. Okay. 
that's very difficult to say because it's just a huge responsibility and moms that do it alone i'm not even on their wa wavelength because they're extremely incredible i feel like they need to give me advice but advice that for moms that are going to do it alone you're never alone because you know what when you have a child they bring so much purpose to your life and it's you and him or you and her you never, or them or them if you have multiple but you will never feel alone again that's it they will drive you to be the greatest mom. So I wouldn't even worry about that. I think you have an in you, it's innate for you to be a great mom. When you say you're gonna do it alone, you're actually not. You're Isn't not, you're not gonna be alone again because you have a child that will be by your side and that will love you. I was watching this magic show on Netflix. I don't know if you guys watch it, Magic for Humans. He was interviewing these kids and he had Christmas gifts for them and he'd make it appear out of nowhere. And so one guy wanted a Game Boy, another kid wanted like, helicopter or something i don't know he was like now i can make a gift appear for your mom and then so he'd make a gift appear for mom and he would tell the kids okay you can only take one home which one would you take home and it was like either a game boy or nail polish or like a game boy or shoes and the kids would pick their mom's gift even though they really wanted the game boy and they're only like seven or eight yeah. years old and it's just like the proper made me cry and i'm yeah. like you don't need a man they're useless. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're never gonna feel alone again. And women are so incredibly strong. Like you are so incredibly strong down to carrying the child, down to birthing the child. And if you've gone that far, you can do anything. With a husband, with a partner, without one, you will do amazing as long as you put your child first and try your best. Some moms don't get told how incredible they are. Like I see some moms and I'm like, wow. Okay, let's tell them now, you guys, Can, you moms are incredible. Honestly, women are incredible. Mm -hmm. They are. Are you trying to lose the baby weight and did you gain any? Is it hard? I actually didn't gain that much weight. You know when I gained weight? After the baby. When the baby was like one month and plus that's when I gained the most amount of weight. Found, I don't understand. Found love for chocolate ice cream. I've always had a love for chocolate oh, okay. ice cream. You know. Who chose the house? Was it joint decision? Okay, you I'm actually just gonna found say... It. You actually found it. I chose everything. I chose you. <laughs> Yeah, so he chose me. <laughs> no, no, you did find it. I found the house, yeah. I chose the decor, I chose everything. I think that's why we're like, we get along because he just lets me do what I want. No, no I, get shot, get I get shot, I get shot down. I'm like, oh, what do you think about this? No, yeah, okay. okay. That's great. Can you make us some tea? No, it's a good balance because I don't like being told what to do and you don't mind letting me just yeah, I tell do you. it. I'm doing a pretty good job, right? Mm -hmm. Every room, like I did pretty good. Yeah. You look at it and you're like, you know, I'm glad I gave her the response. I chose the TV. No, actually I did. No, I did. I bought you the TV for your birthday. But I chose it. No, I didn't. I selected I did. it. I knew what TV it was. Wow. I chose the TV. Guys. How is being married? I'm getting married soon and I want to know, please. It's a hard Don't question. Do it. Do what? 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 <laughs> Don't do it, yeah? Okay. How did you handle changes of your body as a woman after baby? I felt more comfortable in my body, even though it's a lot more saggy, a lot more jiggly, a lot more wider. Like, I try to fit through doors and I'm like, whoa, I'm not that small anymore. I really got to go in sideways. I'm not familiar with this new size, but I'm actually more confident in this new size. I look at Adam and I'm like, honestly, I can never, like, hate my body again. My body carried that child for nine months and then pushed that child out with the epidural not working. So natural birth. Sometimes I feel really uncomfortable when I wear clothes and they just don't fit and I just feel super like overweight and just like not my size. But then I have a newfound confidence that I never had before. You know when I look at old photos of myself, I'm like, yo, I used to think I was chubby there. I was thin. <laughs> oh, Neela, I was like, I know everything about y'all pretty much. So I don't have the questions. Just wanted to say I love you guys. Love you too, Neela. No, we don't love her. I do. No, 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 we don't. Why? Because she posted a picture of two other people and she said my favorite people on Instagram. I saw the story okay. and then I said, you're a traitor, I will never forgive you. So then we're not talking to her right now. Netflix recommendations. If you like mystery and like, you know, mystery, <laughs> Unbelievable is really good. Margella is really good. Those I just finished right now. We also like the Vikings. Captain Ryan. The <laughs> Captain Ryan. Mm -hmm. It's called Jack Ryan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Atypical is a good show. You should Atypical watch that. Atypical is a very good show. You told me about that. That's a really good show. How do you maintain love, trust, and keeping it going in the relationship? You answer this one. Sorry, I've just been rambling. How do you maintain love and trust? Yeah. I think you have to always be really open and honest with each other, no matter how uncomfortable it might be. The minute you start not telling how you really feel, I think that's when it starts to take a turn for the worse. I feel like the love also grows, you know? I think it's healthy for people to also get into, you know, disputes or arguments. I think that's healthy. I think every relationship should have that because it's also showing that you care for someone. 
Mm. But if you didn't care, you wouldn't you wouldn't bother. But when we first met to now, I love you more. But I love you more because of like several other reasons as well. Like what? But the fact that like we've grown as people, but also like we've had a beautiful son together. Like our journeys, though, like our experiences, like living together as well. We always said to each other though, like yeah. as well, like we're just honesty. If you have honesty, yeah. there's trust that follows. They kind of go hand in hand. It's more knowing that if something's on your mind and you and you keep it bottled up, that's where things take a turn for the worse. They just kind of pile on top. They pile, of you. yeah, they do, and then eventually you might like just explode one day or whatever, you know. Well, mm -hmm. that's not healthy. Hearing each other out. That's, not just that's saying, a very good one actually. Not yeah. just saying yeah, 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 okay, okay. Like yeah. hearing each other's point yeah. out. We just argued right before we started filming this video because he didn't listen to my point and he didn't want to hear it, so he just kind of like shut me off and like walked away. Yeah, I did. I made a few. Threats. I said, if you ever did that again, no, that's right. Easy, at least. I need, no, I can't I because evidence. then you can use it against me yeah, when I, I actually I commit to. crime. If I no, do, God I forbid. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> he didn't hear my point and he just walked away. And I was like, yo, if you ever do that again, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> he understood. I didn't hear your point. Not just hearing, but actually like listening to what the person is saying. Listen to it. Hear it out. Yeah. Because right. if they have to get upset over the same thing again. It's not their problem, it's a you problem. What is one thing you've learned about yourself after the years of being married, both of you? One thing I learned about Amir is that he really loves when I'm mean to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't know what it is, no. no? Like it's fun in the beginning, but now it's just like a full-time thing. Every day I'm mean to him, he treats me like a princess. When I'm nice to him and I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I'm gonna be nice to him today. He pushes it, he gets <laughs> moody and sassy. I'm like, babe, I made you eggs. He's like, oh, they for wearing. And I'm like, okay, you don't have to eat them. Ah, uh, babe, do you want me to iron your clothes? Yeah, actually, go do that, please. Okay. Yo, this guy's weird. Oh when I'm nice days. to him, he oh. doesn't like it. He Yo. gives me sass. What I'm like, babe, get in my face. He's like, okay. Mm, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I realized that after we married, you're deluded. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I realized. When did your baby bump start appearing? I think at five months. Yeah, I thought, we went I thought, to Rome. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it was months. before though. Are you trying to call me fat? No, I thought, I thought it was right, like. No, it was, it was five four. months. When we did our photo shoot, I was five months in and I had to push up my gut because oh, okay, it wasn't okay. big enough. Oh, yeah, but it wouldn't yeah, yeah. look No, no, you're right, you're right. Because you were crying at first, you couldn't see nothing. She was yeah, crying. True. She was crying at first, she couldn't see nothing. One, two weeks later, the baby bump came in. She was like, oh my god. It's real. What's the most annoying thing people say to you about parenting? When they try to give me like basic advice, but they don't know the like behind the scenes. Adam is like, has cushions all over him and he's sitting up, but they're like, oh, he's gonna fall over. You better do this. And I'm like, well, there's cushions there. Or I'll, I'll just quickly snap a, a picture of me and him in the car and the seatbelt's on his car seat. And someone's like, you did that wrong. And I'm like, mm, actually I didn't. You know, I can't stand people like, oh, say goodbye to your sleep. <laughs> like, shut know. up, Tom. Oh, shut up. It's like, why are you so negative? Like, <laughs> Not only do we have, okay, we don't have sleep. Maybe you're right, Tom. But you know what? We're a thousand times happier than we were before, so I would sacrifice sleep a million times more. Don't scare new parents and tell them, oh, we can say goodbye to your sleep. What, so they can bank it? Oh, sleep now because you're not gonna sleep later. Is there a sleep bank that you can put your sleep in and then use it when you have a baby? What kind of advice is that? Don't scare people, it's perfectly fine. If your parents said that and your parents' parents said that and the world's populated with billions of people, it's not that bad. It's a positive thing in people's lives. Was Adam a planned bubba and how did you tell Amir when you found out? Yeah, because it wasn't much of like a surprise because we were trying and when it wasn't happening, we were like, hmm. So he was part of the finding out process. I wanted to film it like only on the YouTubers and make a really cute video. But because it was planned and because we were trying for a bit and it wasn't like happening, it was more of like, okay, check, check now. Like, okay, check now. It wasn't like a, oh my God, here's bread, surprise! Yeah. You know, so we kind of found out together and we yeah. celebrated the moment together. How to do long distance relationships. We're so good, but we can't be patient anymore. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient. That was one of the detesting things. We were so broke, we couldn't see each other. So yeah. there was no other way. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. Rinse out your bank account. And then you so can't you fly <laughs> to see each other. And then you... Yeah. Then even if you've got money, put it in the savings or something. So you can't get to it. It's like people are like, oh, you lost weight. Are you on a diet? Like, no, I'm just broke. <laughs>
Did you have a natural birth? Yeah, you did. Yeah, man. Yeah, you did. She wanted epidural, didn't really work out for her. It became a natural birth. It was only 21 hours of contractions, strong contractions, because I was induced. But then it was only 25 minutes of pushing. So, how did it last? Did you get any judgment towards marrying from outside your Yeah, I got tribe? some douchebags from my tribe. Send me DMs. In specific, this one dude, loser, would send me messages and be like, oh, you're a disappointment to our tribe. There's only 200,000 of us, and you go ahead and choose to marry a non harari blah. Blah, blah blah and I'm like what kind of a loser are you what's wrong with you I I'm mind blown by this guy the audacity he thinks I didn't see his message so he goes on snapchat messages me on there what is your obsession with who I end up with and who Allah has planned for me to end up with what is what why does that concern you are you going to be in the day of judgment asking God why did it try and mutate this girl on the internet that I barely even know that I don't even have any relations with marry a Pakistani guy what I think I got high five everyone's like damn because you got I'm like, that's right! That's right! Oh, hey. Aww. <laughs> what Urdu words have you learned so far? She's learned um, all the swear words. Aap ho, tum chale jao yaha se, be sharaf. Tappar maat na. Chup! My mom uses that a lot. Sorry, kutte ka Who's the breadwinner and who handles finances? We both. But, but you're like I'm. I'm employed. You're self-employed. So separate. We usually split everything. Um, you have to. You just because we're nowadays. in the financial ability to split everything. But if I wasn't working, he'd be happy to pay for everything. And if he wasn't working, I'd be happy to pay for everything. So it's like. Should I know what? So you can do it. Shut up! <laughs> Should I feel bad for being able to save with my husband for a house as I got pregnant? Huh? That's a great thing. Um, I don't get. I'm I don't. I don't think that's. But a bad congratulations. Thing. Yeah. How has having Adam changed your marriage? Love watching you guys. We have. Oh, we're no, just obsessed with problem. him together. So we, we share are. that in common. He's growing so quickly as well. Like it's crazy, and his he's developing characteristics, and Every it's mad. Day. It's Every mad. Every day he does something, and we're like, <gasps> oh, yeah, exactly. So that is it, like, it's a fascination. He'll it's give like, us an expression like, hmm. I tried to. Um, and you're like, baby's flirting with us. How did you afford to buy your own house? Savings. We'll like do savings. a whole video on how savings. we bought our house because savings. let's just say we didn't have a car before we bought the house. Yeah, we didn't. Let's just say I didn't own anything designer and I still don't own anything designer except for one bag that I got as a wedding gift. Let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> Advice for newlyweds. Be honest. Be honest. Say how you feel. Laugh things off yeah. and make sure. If you're in the wrong, acknowledge you're wrong. Don't be don't be proud. Advice to those who are single wanting to find their match but do not want to settle. Honestly, if you are not happy and you're settling, do not settle. Do not settle. Most of the time people's marriages fail us because there was a trait there that you noticed before you married the guy or you married the girl. But you were like, eh, maybe we'll go away. And that trait haunts you and then it usually affects your marriage and then that trait grows or it just stays there as a big block and it affects the marriage and most of the time if the person doesn't work on it, things kind of go left. I mean, don't be picky like looks and stuff. I mean, obviously you have to be attracted with the guy, but don't be like, oh no, he has to look like Jason Momoa or I'm not marrying him. Why are you going to say that name though in particular? What? Huh? Because I just thought, I'm thirsty for water, what? and I thought of water, and then I thought of aqua, and then yeah. I thought of aquaman, <laughs> and then I thought of Jason Momoa. I was like, oh yeah, the first thing that just popped into my head. For example, if there's a trait that you notice that you don't like with the guy, that's actually a serious trait that can affect your livelihood, you can't expect the guy to just all of a sudden change after you've married him. You should have handled that trait prior to marriage. Don't ignore the red flags. You should be comfortable enough to discuss these red flags. If it matters, they'll change, and if they're just something that they just can't change about themselves, if you're willing to cope with it, okay. Okay, but if you're really not, then that's a huge thing. So once this kitchen update, so many questions. We're, we're still fixing up the kitchen. We've temporarily just done a bit of sprucing on it, but nothing long term. Will you move back or oh, will yeah. you stay in uh, England? Uh, I bought a house, so I own property in, in England. So right. I probably won't abandon my property. But if I didn't buy a house, I'd so probably still stay in England. Cool. I think I'd raise my kids here and then maybe. Yeah, I would definitely move back because I saw this documentary and they were saying how Canada is going to be like one of the wealthiest countries in the world because its resource in water is the biggest or one of the biggest. Our prime minister isn't like horrible. Medical care is pretty good. So I think the next property I'd, I'd like to invest in or like the third or fourth because I want to start investing in a lot more properties it would be in Canada. So say for instance, things don't really work out here. I'm just like, <laughs> 
<laughs> Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Hopefully expanding our family. Mm -hmm, sure. uh, yeah. Inshallah. To be fair, I do see us doing a lot more traveling. I really? Yeah. I see us buying homes and flipping them. <laughs> <laughs> 65,000 pounds! Flip this pound, now the property is worth 120,000 pounds! Whoa! She's been watching Holmes, Homes Under the Hammer <laughs> on BBC. <laughs> this is what happens. That's what I see. This is what happens. Thanks oh. for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> Thank you guys. And we will um, be back with some more videos. Yeah, hopefully. Comment down below and let us know what else. If you have any other questions or any other types of videos you'd like us to create. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our page and hit that bell notification as well. Smash it. I heard apparently people like when you say smash that subscribe button because smash people it. like smashing things. Smash that. Seven years on YouTube and I just I just pick up on these things. Thanks for watching! <laughs>